Rangers going to get that quick start of we're on the line. They all want to take the right hand turn as they go away. Right up at the front, but Lars van der Haar comes across as at the tip of the arrow. He takes a very quick start. Lars van der Haar, one of the runners there to do well on this course. He's, of course, he regularly can uh, dominate on He's a good technical runner. He can handle the fast pace, but this is blisteringly quick. But there is no quarter given. A massive lean on the shoulders as it came around that turn there. You could just uh, see Lawrence Feet putting the pressure on a flyer there. Van der Poel on that climb, moving up into the lead. So Matthew van der Poel on home ground, he lives around the corner, moves up. And now well, van der Haar just being drifted back a little. You said just got Lars van der Haar easing off at the moment. Now van der Haar has got to move. We thought it'd come down to a battle between these two. It's already opened up. But it's van der Poel keeping the pressure on here. Van der Haar's just a few bike lengths off. It is a playground for these riders as they drop down onto the tarmac. They're going to hit that start line and go up or through underneath the finish for the first time. Two riders clear at the end of lap number one. It's Matthew van der Poel with Wout van Aert from Belgium on his heels. The big two underway. This is the chasing group. And we set off uh, not all that long ago with 40 riders together. And it's just one long line. The pressure is on. Now Van der Poel on the charge here as they come up onto his plate again. He opens the throttle as he kicks down. He's looking to try and break him here as they go up. He's trying to break Van Aert early in this race. So Van Aert out of the saddle. Van der Poel buries himself coming in and through. And that is another attack and another attack answered by Van Aert. The rivalry between the Netherlands and Belgium continues onwards. So... Van der Poel just winding up, you can just see his body language there, just starting to wind up as he came in to the planks. So in to the uh, descent, the traditional lines, but not no pressurising here, just uh, going up and to the uh, back wheel, making sure there's no distance loss, making sure that Matthew Van der Poel knows that he's got Van Aert with him. If it came down to a sprint, it would be about their tactical nets on the way through, both absolutely phenomenal sprinters. Well, here you go, the crowd going to get another look here to see uh, what they're going to do on this last uh, lap up on uh, to the uh, side of this uh, finishing straight they come. There isn't a spare centimetre with a view of the uh, finishing uh, straight. They come up uh, underneath the line, the bell rings with one more lap to go. There is the uh, last run, one lap left to go. Who is going to take this? It is uh, going to come down to that nail by team finish if it comes on to that uh, sprint up there. Uh, your guess is going to be as good as mine so who's going to take that who's got anything left van der Haar in his own private battle now with Ellie is a bit they go around past pit number one and the pits numbered in the order with which the riders are pressure now van Aert goes over the top now van Aert out of there out of the saddle and this is a move coming here rags the bike around the side on it to the penultimate bridge we've got one more bridge a section that's going to come up here but this is where we've seen mistakes before he's waiting on the shoulder he's pressurizing van art van art is not making any mistakes though Oh, he's out of the saddle here, he's really putting the pressure on, he sits back down again, it's going to come down to this now, oh, Van der Poel goes over the side there, and he hasn't made it count, Van der Poel pressurising on the inside, and it's going to come down to the sprint, they don't want to start too early, it is a tight tower, and now he jumps, he's on the side, here he goes, it's a kick from Matthew Van der Poel, can Van Aert answer him, they're on the run up here, on the climb, I'm not sure that Van Aert has got enough, it's going to be Matthew Van der Poel who takes it, Van der Poel takes the race when he's a world champion as he comes sprinting through and Wout Van Aert had no answer to it behind Ellie Isabit is going to make it two Belgium medals he comes in ahead of Lars Van der Haar from the Netherlands what a finish here at the UCI 2023 Cyclocross World Championships.